Hello friend, see you do not have to learn 100 of services available in AWS. You just have to learn the few AWS services which are used hundreds of times in applications and also asked in the interviews hundreds of times. That is the smart learning, right? So today I am going to share you the top 5 most used services in the AWS especially for developers. By the end of this video, you will feel super confident about these services. And then you can easily explain these concepts in your interviews also. And yes, if you are learning AWS and not able to crack the interviews, then what is the point of learning? Be smart, learn AWS to earn more, right? So let's start with the first service. What are Amazon EC2 instances? When would you use them in a project? To be very short and simple, EC2 are just like the servers where you host your application. Here is a very simple diagram. You have hosted one application which is front end is hosted on this physical server. Okay. And back end or API server is hosted on this separate physical server. Similarly, this is on-premise application. Similarly, in the AWS cl uh, cloud, we call these servers as the EC2 instances like this. EC2 stands for Elastic Compute Cloud. In short, mostly we use EC2 instance to host application. But like you can use the server for many other purposes, Similarly, you can also use EC2 instances also for many other purposes like running the background processes and others. It's just like a CPU. Here is the simple and easy to remember definition. EC2 instance are cloud based virtual servers that allows to run application without needing to buy or manage physical hardware. That's it. Now you may ask is ec2 is the best and the simplest and the fastest for hosting application the answer is no so which one is the best for hosting application that i will share in the upcoming question and remember winners never quit and quitters never win if you have not accepted my never give up challenge yet do it now once you crack the interview, share your success story like these candidates. Comment never give up to accept the challenge now. What is AWS Elastic Beanstalk? For what purpose can you use it? If you are from a ba development background, then this is one of the top AWS service you will use. Now, if you remember IES, which stand for infrastructure as a service, then EC2 is the example of IES, meaning if you are using uh, EC2, then you are using IES model of cloud. Because to host application, you will also install the take care of many things which are in IES only. Okay. So EC2, you have to manage many things. You have to install the operating system. You have to, for application hosting, you have to install the frameworks to host your application, many, many things. But there is, if you remember PaaS, which stands for platform as a service, then is this model as a developer, you only need to provide the application code, data configuration and nothing else. For this, you do not have to create the EC2 instance or configure load balancer or manage the underlying these, this infrastructure. Okay. All of them automatically handled by AWS. You just need to create your web app, API or backend service front end and deploy it using the Elastic Bean stack. That's it. So, whether you are building a web app, a REST API, mobile backend, you can use Elastic Beanstack of the service of the AWS. Okay. And EBS lets you deploy your application in the cloud 
uh, with few clicks only. It's the simplest way to deploy or host your application in AWS cloud. Here is the simple and easy to remember definition. AWS Beanstack is a fully managed platform as a service that enable developers to deploy and scale also web application and services without managing the infrastructure okay so simple definition like this will help you to revise easily uh, from the book before your interview so that you don't forget the answers now you may ask if Beanstalk is the right choice, the best choice, simplest choice for a hosting application, then why we have AC2? Good question. So that I will explain in the upcoming question. But yes, before that, I will explain some features of Beanstack uh, so that you can easily understand Beanstack in a very complete way. And uh, you will know that why Beanstalk is so popular. It is very popularly used. What is AWS Lambda function? Have you ever used them in your project? Very, very important question from interview point of view. Stay with me till the end and then you can explain this to anyone with example. Let's understand with the help of an example. Suppose you are uh, a developer and your development team has created a web application in AWS. You have the front end server built in Angular React or JS this front end passes the request to the back end or api server which can be in dotnet java or node and finally everything connects to the database okay so this front end and back end can be in uh, hosted in ec2 instances or hosted in using the elastic beanstalk so that doesn't matter okay can be in anything now imagine a user is signing up in your application like this and during the sign up the user is uploading a photo or some any kind of image document that image document will be stored in the amazon s3 storage like this in aws cloud okay it, s3 is used to store mainly the images okay and I will explain in detail in upcoming question about this, this S3. But uh, now you know it is in short used to store the files and images of your application. Okay. Now listen carefully. Images are very large in size and uh, or maybe videos very large in size and large image require more space in S3, which means more AWS cost for your company because you are storing bigger files in s3 okay now as an aws developer you uh, come up with a brilliant idea or a solution to save cost of your company you used a service in aws called aws lambda you created a lambda uh, and inside that lambda you will write some code to compress the images okay now what happens whenever the image is uploaded in this amazon s3 storage bucket or account or storage then a trigger will be fired and automatically your lambda function and the code inside it will be executed and will compress the image and then it will store the image getting my point before storing the image, the image will be compressed in size by your code which is written inside the lambda function. That means now you need less storage is required in the S3 storage and your company cost will be saved. And that's a great job and you will get the employee of the month award for saving company cost. So this is a very common use case and if you will say this in the interview then interviewer will think that you have read it somewhere okay so here is one more example suppose you want that as soon as a user signs in like this uh, a successful welcome email should be sent to the user automatically back to him no manual thing automatically 
for this also you can write a lambda function which will be automatically triggered as soon as a user will sign up and it uh, the lambda function will send the welcome email to the user that's it remember lambda function is just a piece of code which is running behind background okay now i am sure you are fully understood the purpose of aws lambda right and here is the simple easy to remember definition aws lambda is a serverless compute service that lets you run code in response to events when something will happen then your lambda function will be triggered okay some event must happen to trigger the lambda function without managing servers basically managing without managing servers what is the meaning of this that i will explain you in the upcoming question in detail okay so remember in short lambda function will only execute when something will happen and it is a piece of code all right if this is fully clear to you then write crystal clear in the comments or chat that will boost your confidence and help you to never forget this concept ever in your life also this diagram and this definition in the book will help you in quick revision for your interviews from the book later okay now in interview sometimes they ask one indirect question okay this is the this is the first question now they will ask why not just write the lambda function code directly inside the main application itself lambda function is just a piece of code why not to write inside the main application the same code and that's a great question and i will answer that in the upcoming question before moving forward ask yourself just one thing what is the point of learning aws if you can't crack the aws interviews that's why i have created a complete aws interview preparation boot camp for you with three powerful tools number 3 200 plus aws interview questions from all the topics step by step even if you are aws beginner still you can learn everything here also the real scenario based questions are covered then in this smart excel you can mark questions prepared or not prepared and therefore you can track your interview preparation progress like this second tool is this pdf book for quick revision just before your aws interviews and first tool is 10 aws mock interviews to help you practice just like the real interviews many students have already cracked interviews with my courses you can be the next remember just one missed question can lead to interview rejection why take the chance then check out all the links in the description if interested great if not no worries let's move to the next question explain amazon s3 storage when you would you use it in your project get ready after listening this you can explain this to anyone let me explain with the help of an example suppose you have some ec2 instances or beanstalk instances where your applications are running okay now from these application this ec2 and this beanstalk your app is running here and from ec2 user are uploading the images from beanstalk user are uploading the videos the media files and these files media files send are coming to your application and then the best place to store these fly, files is in a, aws is aws s3 storage like this now the main question is why is this is the best why not other type of storage because amazon s3 is specially made for storing the large unstructured files like the media images videos documents and backups and uploading and downloading media files from s3 storage is very very fast okay for example let's say you have one another ec2 and one another beanstalk okay and from these two 
application here applications are running you want to read the images from the s3 you want to read the videos from s3 then you can directly access those media files from s3 storage through a url like this this is the url okay you can just use this url and you can download those media files from the s3 storage and that is also very fast that's why we use s3 to store the large files like images videos okay in short s3 is the best when you want to store large files and access them via the urls uh, urls from web mobile cloud based application okay okay and yes there is one limitation of s3 that's same thing i have written here also first of all s3 is stored for large backup file s3 when you want to access easily urls especially in web mobile huh? there is a limitation of s3 and that is here editing files in s3 blob or you can say blob storage manually is difficult because the files are stored as objects not as regular files remembers in s3 storage files are storage as objects so if you want to open the s3 uh, storage and you want to edit the file manually that's very complex and that's not uh, what s3 is, is meant for for that purpose there is some other storage which is amazon efs if you want to manipulate the files and that i will explain you in the upcoming question but yes this diagram in the book and this definition will help you revise your this amazon s3 later in a better way from the book right what is amazon rds how is it different from the regular databases now if you remember this pass category then for applications you can host the application in ec2 or beanstalk or lambda in aws side similarly for data you can use rds for data rds okay here is one more very important diagram where you can see our applications are getting the data from the rds which is the database okay now as a developer if you have used mysql oracle sql server etc on your local system uh, or in the on premise servers then amazon rds is the same and the best rdbms database in aws for you you can use it along with the oracle or mysql or any database okay so for database of your uh, if you want database for your application select the rds service in aws here is the clear and short definition Amazon RDS is a fully managed cloud based relational database service from AWS it is offered as a platform as a service meaning you just have to provide the data the data structure uh, table structure whatever but you do not have to install the oracle or you do not have to worry about the main installations just you have to provide the data to AWS and they will already use rds you have just to choose the rds service okay aws will take care of for managing the backups for you know patching updates everything aws will do that's the diagram and that's the definition and this definition diagram will help you in the revision for your interviews from this book great job my friend now if this video helped you then there are some more important aws interview questions like what is sns sqs dlq cloudfront cloudwatch etc all i have explained in my complete aws interview boot camp many of my students have already used my courses to crack their interviews now if you don't want to miss a single question for your next interview then check out the bootcamp and book link in the description below